Oh my goodness, home sales just completely plummeted this time of year. They're sitting on the market much longer than they were beforehand, and they're not selling in three days to a month. Is it this time of year, or is the housing market crashing? Let's say a normal market is 200 homes on the market. So now we have 100 homes on the market, that's half the supply. But if usually 10 sell a month, then that's 10 months of supply. But now if only five are selling a month, then you have 20 months of supply, a lot different. So the length of time now that homes are selling is a concern for how the home prices may continue to fall in the future. I want to just touch on a few reasons why that supply decreased and explain just a little bit of why we see some pain in the mortgage lending market. Now, typically we go off of the 10 year treasury to see what they're doing. And I do believe that we're going to still see the Fed hike up the rates even a little bit more, even in the beginning of this next upcoming year. We'll see it peak around January, hopefully no later than March, and then we'll start seeing the rates come back down. That's what we're hoping and that's what we're predicting. We are currently 4% higher now than we were earlier this year with the lending industry. An interesting thing that might happen next year that we saw at the beginning of this year was that corporations were buying a lot of the real estate. Cash offers, 24 hours, waiving all inspections. That was a big part of this year. So next year, those corporations might have to start selling these properties. We're not really seeing too many homeowners wanting to sell their homes right now. They're locked in. They got the home they wanted. Where would they go? That's the biggest question I hear. Where would we go? Where would we go? So they're not really wanting to sell their home. If the corporations start selling their real estate this next year, that would throw a completely different dynamic on the real estate housing market. So if you are a buyer in this market, the end of the year is the best time to start shopping for homes because this is the slowest time of the year. It's cold outside. People want to go, don't want to go out there with their family. So if you're a buyer, you're a serious buyer. And if the Fed starts lowering the interest rates in March, you will be able to refinance in the dream home that you found during the easiest time of the year, which is the end of the year.